Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic the critical chain project management or CCPM. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam of PMP in near future. So let's start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, critical chain project management is a project management style that takes into consideration not only the task but also the resources required to complete a project. The goal of CCPM is to identify the steps, timelines and resources required to complete a project to give you a roadmap that you can follow to ensure you complete more jobs on time and on budget. Critical chain project management is similar to the critical path method in that it strives to identify the critical set of tasks and the timelines needed to complete a project. However, CCPM takes it one step further by taking into consideration the resources, people, equipment, physical space, materials needed to complete the project. A major problem with critical path project management is that while it works in theory, it fails to consider that in the real world you do not have unlimited resources on your shop floor. You only have so many workstations, staff members, etc. And you also have real life constraints, bottlenecks that exist in your shop which determine how much work can be completed. CCPM takes these factors into consideration to create a more holistic and realistic schedule for your shop. The critical chain is the longest path in the schedule and consider activity interdependence and resource constraints. What that means is that CCPM looks at the schedule and then determines which set of activities that if delayed will extend the end date of the project. In this way, the critical chain is identified and you will pinpoint the steps and resources needed to complete a project in the fastest and most efficient manner. CCPM emphasizes the critical chain and not the critical path as the project constraint. It uses 50% of the probable activity time. It makes use of buffers to account for the uncertainty of the activity performances and estimates. The buffers can be used as a highly effective measurement tool for controlling the project schedule. The projects are linked to the constraining company resource using buffers which consider factors such as activity duration, variability. CCPM aims to modify and improve the behavior of the project team, enforce early reporting of activities and eliminate multitasking. Now we talk about the advantages and the disadvantages of the critical chain project management CCPM. Advantages include it helps people to concentrate more on their work while increasing team morale and performance. It assists your team resolve the student syndrome phenomena when people work more as the deadline approaches, prevents the mismanagement of floats, it deems the minimum time required to finish the project, accelerate execution of the project, allows a substantial reduction in capital needs. The, di uh, the disadvantages includes that it needs the dedication of the project team, the project manager and the shareholders. There could be a lot of losses if the team doesn't grasp the strategy to see the end point. The approach is not endorsed by some big planning packages. A new methodology thus it's difficult to determine any long term gains. So friend uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for uh, watching the video. I hope you like this video. If you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video.